Thanks everyone for coming today. My name is uh, Jamie Love. I'm the director of Knowledge College International. This is a workshop on the history, experiences, and prospects of compulsory license of medical patents in the United States. A number of people here in the room have worked on the issue of compulsory license of patents in countries outside the United States. And uh, because of the debate that's going on about drug prices and a possible role for the United States government to negotiate drug prices, we become interested in, in having a, a, uh, a, a serious conversation here about the role of patents in price negotiations. In particular, when uh, countries are involved in negotiation over what's a reasonable price for a product, the usual negotiating leverage that countries exert in industrialized countries like the United States is they make a uh, negotiate over whether or not a drug will be reimbursed. They negotiate whether uh, uh, the, the use of the drug will be limited by a formulary, whether it can be used off-label. Uh, they may discuss things like prior approval for the drug, and uh, they may have co-payments, in some cases uh, quite, quite high payments, sometimes in cases excess of $30,000 a year for some expensive cancer drugs. Um, uh, in countries outside the United States, when there's a, dis a dispute over the price of the drug, for example, in the UK, uh, where they're debating whether or not to reimburse drugs like Ibrance or, uh, or, or uh, Kizilla for breast cancer, the negotiating strategy for the government is to, is, to, uh, is to suggest that they would not reimburse a drug. And uh, uh, for example, a, a drug that my wife takes uh, for breast cancer, Kizilla, is not reimbursed in the UK at this point. Uh, but it's a, it's a game-changing drug, and she's alive because of the drug. And the women in the UK that don't get that drug uh, are dying or dead already. So we don't want to go down that road ourselves. Uh, so we are taking the position that when there's a dispute about the reasonableness of a price, we'd like policymakers to think of the patent monopoly as a privilege, not a right, and that the threat would be not to, not to withhold treatment from the patient, but to eliminate the monopoly. And that's what the compulsory licensing option gives you. It gives the government more power in the course of price negotiation. And as you can imagine, it's very controversial. Uh, but this, what this meeting will discuss is it'll start out with a presentation by Zach Struver, who's going to review the efforts uh, of U.S. legislation where compulsory licensing bills have been proposed, and in some cases implemented, starting really about 150 years ago bringing it up to the present. And then we'll have a series of panels with the U.S. experience, uh, starting with the government use provisions in the United States law, following with the use of compulsory license in the context of injunction proceedings as a limitation on the remedy for infringement of patents, and then a discussion of use under the Bayh-Dole Act, or non-use of the option under the Bayh-Dole Act. And then uh, that'll be followed in the afternoon with a uh, discussion about what the global norms are for compulsory licensing in industrialized uh, countries, as, as well as a presentation of what compulsory license statutes look like in 13 industrialized countries. The, the meeting will close with a, uh, a discussion about whether or not what are the prospects for compulsory licensing in the United States. and. In that context, uh, sh are there need for any changes in U.S. legislation, and if so, what they might look like? We'd like everyone to participate in the final session. We'll start with uh, some of the people that have made some of the earlier presentations, sharing some of their thoughts on this. I'd like to begin right now by inviting Zach Struver up to begin his presentation. Uh, Zach Struver has a, uh, is, is been, a, uh, uh, been working with us uh, uh, his first job out of out of out of college. He's on his way to law school next year, but uh, hasn't started. He's queuing up his presentation. And um, Zach spent a fair amount of time at the Library of Congress digging a lot of this stuff out. So Zach, you want to come up and uh, to the podium and then begin your presentation. Thank you very much.